Job titles and analytics are a bit of a mess. I've worked in analytics for 15 years, and I think titles have gotten more convoluted instead of less over the years. Let's look at the differences between a business analyst versus data analyst, and why you'll probably end up searching for both roles, regardless of which one you're actually interested in. Hi, I'm Jen, and I help demystify analytics and analytics careers. Business analyst and data analyst roles have a lot of similarities, which is part of where the problem originates. It's why a lot of people start to wonder, are they exactly the same thing, or are they actually different jobs altogether? Before we get into why you'll probably look for both job titles when you're searching for a job in this field, we need to take a step back and look at what is even the difference between a business analyst and a data analyst. So let's break it down in terms of what the focus areas are, who they interact with, and what type of background you need for a business analyst versus a data analyst position. Let's start with the focus area of each of these roles. A business analyst looks at an organization, processes, systems, and the problems they might be experiencing through a business lens. They're really focused on what's the business solution I can create with what I'm doing. On the other hand, a data analyst is heavier on the data. So while they're still contributing to solving business problems, their focus is more technical in nature, where they may be less connected from the business, but heavier on the technical skills than a business analyst. Because business analysts are focusing on the business, they tend to need heavier communication skills. They're often interacting with a lot of different areas of an organization, a lot of different functions, and they need to be able to communicate well. They also tend to need stronger leadership skills, and especially in areas of persuasiveness and influencing when you don't have authority. Typically, a business analyst is going to interact with a lot of people who don't actually report to them, but that they need input from, whether that's data, information, sign off from stakeholders, um, they need that to be effective in what they're doing. While these skills are helpful in any role, they're not quite as critical for a data analyst. Communication tends to be very important, but often takes a different form than a business analyst. So you need to be able to interpret and understand technical and non-technical topics and communicate them back, communicate the outputs of the analysis you're doing back to the organization in a meaningful way. But you're probably not doing as much one-on-one -on -one engagement in a data analyst role as you would be doing in a business analyst role. You also often aren't needing to influence people as much in a data analyst role. So those leadership skills, those persuasiveness skills are a little less important. Again, they're, they're fantastic skills to have and they help in any role. It's just less critical that you have them if you're getting into a data analyst position. The key skills that data analysts do need to have though are a stronger statistical background and they need to know some sort of programming language or no code, low code tool to help them analyze information, help them analyze the data. Data. You'll find some business analyst roles lean a little more technical where these skills are helpful. And again, I think statistics skills um, and having a fundamental understanding of how programming work can help across pretty much every job out there, but they're a little more crucial to a data analyst job than a business analyst job. Let's talk about backgrounds. Data analysts will typically have a background that is more math or programming oriented, where a business analyst might come more from a business management background. That being said, it's very typical for people to move between these positions or to transition into these careers from other roles. So project management, for instance, is a, a great setup to move into a business analyst role. Somebody that's heavy on the coding or maybe doing more analysis in Excel even could be setting themselves up well for a data analyst or a business analyst role, even if they do have a lot more to build off of. Sometimes starting with that interest level goes a long way to how you process the information, how you analyze data, um, because for some people it's just a little more intuitive than others, even if these are all trainable skills. There are data analyst degree programs out there and business analyst degree programs out there, but these are relatively new. Most of them have come about within the past decade or so. Some have been around slightly longer than that, um, but there aren't any of these programs that have existed for more than 15 years. So while it's becoming more common for people to have either bachelor's or master's degrees in business analytics or data analytics, 
they're definitely not a, a go-to standard that everyone has to meet to get into either of these positions. In terms of pay, both of these positions are fairly similar, and that gets into a bit of the job title problem that exists. So let's break that down. Why is there such a problem in job titles and why isn't it clear? Why do you need to look for both? I think there's two pieces. One is these are relatively new titles. While some form of business analyst and data analyst have existed for decades, uh, probably even longer than that, they haven't had these titles. So a data analyst in the past might have been more typically called a statistician. Um, maybe they fell under programming. A business analyst might have been called a management consultant or something like that. And so there's just not been the time for it to evolve and be refined like for some other roles, like uh, like let's say engineering where t job titles and experience levels and expectations of skills tend to be fairly standard across companies. The second major issue though is really a marketing problem with the rise of all of this data that we have, which is just growing exponentially year over year, companies are looking to attract people that know how to work with these skills. So as different studies or agencies have released reports around these jobs, what they've also done is attract a lot of people to the job title, where it sounds really intriguing to have this data analyst job title especially. So what this translates to in the business world is, the a complete lack of standards where companies will use the title that they think is most likely to attract the right candidate rather than using a more standard title that fits the definition of what they really are as roles. So you'll see some business analysts that lean really technical and are essentially a data analyst um, that maybe sits in a business function. And you'll see some data analysts that are really heavy on the communication, business stakeholder management, those sorts of things. So while they have the data analyst title, they're really functioning more as a business analyst would. And throw in the mix their data scientists, which is a completely different job description from these, though they still work with analytics, they still work heavily with data. Um, but there are often companies now that still are using that title to describe somebody that's maybe more of a data analyst even a business analyst. I would say there is tending to be more separation with data scientists. That's not as problematic um, as the data analyst versus business analyst job title confusion, but it's still out there. So if you're interested in getting into analytics, I'd highly recommend that if you're curious about a data analyst or a business analyst position, when you're searching for jobs, search for both. Um, and there's always an advantage of being able to speak to how you can help a business, um, how you can connect the analytics you're doing into what the business is trying to accomplish. It translates really well even to people that are maybe non-technical. If you're interested and need a little extra support with it, I have a few different resources. I have some books, some courses, and I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching. So I've helped hundreds, maybe even thousands of people at this point get into data analysts and business analyst careers, working on a, a roadmap that's specific to them, to their background, to their interests, identifying roles that are most likely for them to be successful in obtaining a job and helping them prep for the interview. So it's always exciting to, to work with people. If you're interested, check out the link in the description and reach out. I hope this has helped clarify some of the problem that exists in the business analyst versus data analyst job titles. We're not gonna fix it anytime soon, but at least you can be aware of why it's such a mess and at the heart of it, what are the differences between the roles? Thanks so much for watching.